The journey of storytelling, from mind's eye to paper to digital with and without novel crafter. In the vast landscape. Okay, welcome. That was the lead intro brought to us by 11, 11 Labs and a little script I wrote. I cut it off early because it, it gets to be quite um, flowery. Flowery? Is that a word? Yeah, it goes, it's always over the top with its writing and speaking. But here I wanted to show, mainly for myself, since I tend to jump around between different projects and then come back when I feel the urge, is something called Novel Crafter. But first, let me go uh, over here and try to make it full screen. So we can all see it better. And then I will come back over here where I don't see the screen anymore. But that's okay. Hopefully you do. And what am I going to do here? Um, okay, everything's up. So let me go back over there. And there we go. Now I see it down there. Okay. So this is the the app, Novel Crafter, online app, but it's a strange app in that it can talk to, uh, if you run your AI models locally, which I'm blessed to be able to do, um, you can save yourself a truckload of money by not using ChatGPT and Claude and Mistral and all those expensive open router, all those little uh, kind of nightmares of money and connection problems and tokens and all of that. So that's one of my attractions to Novel Crafter. Of course, it still is an online app. It'd be nice if it was also offline and could use those models, but that's not the case yet. But here we we have it's uh, really geared towards Novel. I'm going to try to type, talk faster this time because last time it took too long. So we have novels, we have series, which I can only dream of, and prompts, which is related to AI and how you talk to it and what you want to get back. So there's several of them to understand. I'll come back to that maybe in the next video where I want to talk about local models like LM Studio and Olama. But for now, let's just... Uh, Let's just do it this way. I'm going to go in and I'm going to let the uh, voiceover read about this to us. Quietly sitting water. You can put your own title in there. Click surprise me. I have no idea what templates are about, but I'll get to there someday. So let's go ahead and create this novel, which leads us to here. And we always start at the codex. And then we, from there, if you leave that open that way, you get plan, which is an outline, write, which is, you know, writing, chat, you can talk to an AI about something, whatever's in your novel or anything, really. Review, which seems to just be very simple at this point. It's a count of your words by scene and where your characters are in the story, where they show up anyway. So here in plan, as it talks, I'm going to click because I think that will work out to be about three minutes. So it keeps me under control. And let me go back there and get that going. Jumping right into the core of Novel Crafter, let's explore how this tool is set to revolutionize the way we approach writing from sprawling novels to concise short stories. With Novel Crafter, the ambition is clear. Whether you're aiming to craft the next great novel, a gripping series, or a collection of short stories, this platform is designed to support your creative journey. It even integrates with AI LLM models, offering you the flexibility to use prompts for enhancing your writing, regardless of whether you prefer local or cloud-based solutions. Diving into the Novels section, Novel Crafter introduces the Codex, this feature is a game changer, allowing you to meticulously organize characters, locations, 
objects, and law. Whether you're laying down the groundwork for your world building or weaving intricate subplots, the Codex serves as your central hub. The beauty of the Codex lies not just in its organizational prowess, but also in its capability to enrich your storytelling. With options for snippets and chat, you can brainstorm within the tool itself, ensuring your AI-assisted writing remains aligned with your vision. Planning your masterpiece is where Novel Crafter shines for the plotters among us. Sketch out your novel's backbone with ease, making the daunting task of structuring your narrative that much simpler. Then comes the writing, arguably the most challenging yet rewarding part. Novel Crafter doesn't write the story for you, but provides a conducive environment for you to bring your ideas to life with editing tools to refine your work. The chat feature stands out by offering a conversational interface similar to ChatGPT or Claude, but with a twist. It pulls in context from your codex and existing writing, making for a uniquely tailored brainstorming session. While the review features are currently minimal, focusing on word counts and character tracking in scenes, it's a starting point for analyzing your narrative's pacing and development. And let's not overlook the importance of settings in shaping the prose of your novel. From tense to language and point of view, Novel Crafter allows you to customize your writing experience. It even lets you select specific characters for a more focused narrative approach. Novel Crafter is more than just another writing tool. It's a comprehensive platform designed to support your writing journey at every stage. From ideation to execution, it offers a suite of features tailored to enhance your storytelling. Whether you're a seasoned author or just starting out, Novel Crafter could be the companion you need to bring your stories to life. Okay. I think I kept up with that pretty good. Maybe not. But at least it cut me down to three minutes just to do that. Just to talk about that part. And I think you get the hang that at least took me a while to get the hang. But this is right here. If it shows up. The codex is one of the main things. That, in conjunction with this plan, they call it, which is kind of an outline, is an outline. And then where you probably will spend most of your time is bouncing around in here and somehow getting back and forth to chat if you use that. If you don't use that, then as you can see here, it's aware of the codex in your writing and can bring up stuff. Now, how exactly to make best use of, of all that so far, I'm not sure. I wanted to do this video. So if and when I come back to here, I will be able to catch up quickly, even though most likely, like with all these things, the user interface will change. But I don't think the underlying writing aspect, outlines, codex, um, of course, chat's not going to change very much at this point. So let me go back out and just just to show one that's kind of already filled out instead of so blank. Now, when I come back to this, I see my codex of characters. I got a location. I got some items and an object you get all that in here to play around with and get going you can export these things i believe yeah it would be nice i asked for it would be nice to just export everything as a big blob of text somehow divided up that would be great maybe it will happen but it tends to not happen in these projects like they just don't want you taking your stuff with you because you could come in, I guess, take it, I don't know. I just want you to keep paying every month, which is fine and understandable. But that was it, I believe. Um, let me go back over here and try to let that last part play while I cl click around some more. See if there's anything in there I missed. Here we go. As we wrap up our exploration of Novel Crafter, it's evident that like any sophisticated tool, 
it requires a bit of acclimation. This is a common theme across many specialized writing tools, where the depth of features can initially overwhelm. The price point of Novel Crafter might be steep for many authors, a recurring challenge in the realm of writing software. Additionally, the lack of a plain text download for the entirety of a project within Novel Crafter is a missed opportunity for simplicity and convenience. An appealing suggestion might be a one-time purchase option for a downloadable version compatible with or without local AI integrations catering to those looking for more financial and operational flexibility. While the features within Novel Crafter don't break new ground in the landscape of writing tools, echoing familiarities with platforms like Scrivener, the unique proposition of AI-integrated prompts and context-sensitive assistance from your novel's codex does offer a great approach to keeping AI contributions focused and relevant to your narrative. In the vast sea of alternatives, we find ourselves navigating through options ranging from the simplicity of Google Docs, Writebox and so on, to the AI-enhanced guidance of platforms like Pseudowrite and Novel AI, each with their own cost and content generation models. Autocrit's specialized critiques offer valuable insights, though its value may not align with its cost for everyone. And then, amidst the fluctuating tides of writing tools, stands Scrivener, the weeble wobble that doesn't fall down of writing tools or won't stay down. Scrivener, that funny old dog waiting for you to come home. It remains a beloved constant for many writers, despite the evolving landscape of digital writing aids. The underlying challenge with these tools, however, extends beyond their price tags. It's the investment of time to learn, adapt, and stay updated with them. A significant consideration in a world where authors are already juggling multiple demands. This speaks to the broader reality of the writing profession today. The struggle to earn a living, the daunting task of standing out in a saturated market, and the shifting consumption habits towards short-form video content. Yet, this journey back to the essence of why we write reminds us of the fundamental truth. A love for writing itself is what propels us forward. Whether through Novel Crafter or any other tool, the quest is always about finding the right companion to bring our stories to life and connect with readers across the globe. So, as we close this chapter on Novel Crafter, remember that the heart of your writing journey lies not in the tools you use, but in the stories you tell and your passion for telling them. No matter the challenges, the love for writing is what makes this journey worthwhile. Okay, with that, I will say peace and hope this was kind of helpful. In the meantime, I'll roll my head out of here just for entertainment purposes and bring it back again and take it out. But for now, that is it. I will be back with at least two more about Ulama and LM Studio. And, and then maybe at some point, uh, once I learn more, I can go into the codex more and the outline and... But I definitely will never make a video where I'm reading the writing to you. There's so many of those. Uh, but anyway, with that, I will say peace for sure this time. And see you next time.